Hi everyone, today we're going to be colouring this veggie here. Now I think this is bok choy. Um, this is uh, something that I really love to eat. Um, I chuck it in stir fries and things like that all the time. I love this sort of crispy base and the nice soft leaves. But anyway, um, <laughs> enough of that. Um, let's get on with colouring. Now the only problem we have with bok choy is it's white and green. So we're going to start with the green and then we might hint on the white with a bit of green, not sure yet. Now I think the best green is probably the leaf green, which is what I'm going to use to start with. This is the polychromo, sorry my lamp, there we go, really makes it very difficult to read. And I'm just going to put some on now on the top now. I don't know if you eat lots of bok choy like me or if you're familiar with it. It's a veggie that certainly wasn't around when I was a child. Um, but um, it's got darker green leaves. It isn't really the right green shade of green at all, but we'll, we'll um, use it as a base. We can always add some other green in a minute. I'm just going to do the leaves and then worry about the base after. Just get some colour down. Yeah, when I was little, we'd just eat like um, kale, spring greens. Um, um, what's that other thing? Savoy cabbage, that's right, and white cabbage, that was all we, we wouldn't have lots of fancy different greens, I don't remember seeing a Chinese leaf either, or anything much, right, so we've got the main part, we will go, as I say, that's a bit pale, we'll probably do some other colours, but I just want to get on and look at this, now this has got a little bit of green, and then it fades to white, so what I'm doing is getting a very gentle pressure and just doing a few little bits of green and we're going to grab a lighter green pencil this is probably the lightest this is the light green and I'm just going to use it just a little bit just to carry that color down just a little bit further into the base now you see I'm doing it slightly stripy now the bok choy does have a slight texture it's not a stripe a texture in it you can see Johanna's tried to indicate this by all her lines as well so that we can sort of indicate that with these um, lines a little bit now the base is usually white on the ones that I've got that I get I see in the pictures I've got some pictures here they're often white as well so I think I'm gonna leave that I do want a darker green for the top though I don't like that it's too pale so I'm going to go in with my permanent green olive, which is darker. All right, let's bring it into focus, shall we? There we go. And I'm going to work it slightly so that not the whole thing is darker. I'm going to think about where it might be darker, such as here, where they, they're they near each other. And this one is behind, so it's likely to be darker than this one, which is in front. It can help us to give the impression of sort of um, not texture, I don't mean that, I mean distance. So, you see, I'm leaving those tips a little whiter. I don't know why, actually. Just a gentle pressure on my pencil. I want to just experiment with the colour and see what looks right. So, just putting a little bit down. You can erase a little bit if it's just a light layer. Once you uh, go down too hard, can't so I'm just going to take that out a little bit but not overdo it and I think I'm going to leave the front one lighter because I think that gives us some interest as well as some sort of texture now in here where they overlap I want to do a bit of shadow um, I'm not going to use green because I think it's not going to look like shadow for doing green because we haven't got much green coming down here so I'm going to use my dark sepia, just going to sharpen it, oh that's lovely, I've just put a new blade in my sharpener, really nice. And uh, I'm going to just follow Johanna's line down, just extend it slightly with a slightly lighter feel to the pencil, a lighter touch I should say. And hopefully that will give the impression of shadow and I'm going to go over these lines as well. Uh, 
and hopefully it will just give us I might just put in some re some extra really painter ones just to help us a little bit and maybe even a bit of shadow under there I want it to be light though if I can looks quite dark doesn't it I might have been better off doing a slightly lighter colour but then it might have just looked like it was colour or dirt because that's the problem if I'd gone for a light brown it would have probably just looked like dirt so it's just trying to get the balance but what I'm going to do as well is put a little bit of this here where they're overlapping and then it ties it up a little bit more hopefully makes it more obvious that this is supposed to be some sort of shadowing So that is us. So there is our bok choy. So uh, I hope that was useful. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little quickie video and thank you very much for watching. Happy cuddling!